Hey guys, what is going on? In today's video, we're going to be revisiting a project that we did around about a year ago where we took Google Sheets and Google Forms and integrated them together with QR codes to make your attendance go a little bit smoother. We're revisiting this video because it's now 2020, things are a little bit different, Google's changed their processes a little bit, and of course we're living in a much different world than it was a year ago. You guys have also come up with an awesome amount of suggestions and questions in the uh, previous video on Facebook and on Reddit. So I thought I'd take those suggestions and implement them with this new method. So let's get into it. Now before we get started, I'm just going to list out the steps that we need to create a QR code system in Google Sheets connecting with Google Forms. So step one, we're going to create a Google Sheet with your students' names. This is going to be a little bit different from last year, and we'll see that in a moment. We're going to then take those students' names, put them into Google Forms, and then create pre-filled links that we can then put back into the original spreadsheet. From there, we can create the QR codes with the new links that we've now got. And again, we're going to be doing this in a little bit of a different way than it was last year, so that it's slightly easier and faster to get your uh, students all sorted with their links. After that, we're technically done, but we're going to go a little bit further and see if we can filter out the students just in case they do scan uh, more than once a day. And then we can just filter them out so that we could see what time they first arrived or first scanned their QR code. It's not too difficult, so stick with us and let's see what we can do. Step one, we're going to open up a new Google Chrome window. It doesn't have to be Google Chrome, but I like Google Chrome because in the what's called the Omnibox, we can just type in sheets.news.new and that opens up a new spreadsheet. This is going to be our QR code attendant, so rename it. QR attendance or whatever you want to name it and make sure that it's in an appropriate drive. I'm going to put this in my Google stuff um, section, but make sure that you put it in an appropriate place where you can find it later. As you can see, I uh, do have it shared, so I will share the link to this down in the descriptions below. We are going to set up the names and the URLs to the new Google Forms that we haven't set up yet. So first off, let's just get our names in. First name and last name. Head over to your student management system and bring in the students' names. Just copy and paste them over. You'll see that the formatting's not that great, so to change that, we just go to Format, scroll down, and Clear Formatting. We could also use the uh, hotkey Control Backslash or Command Backslash. That gives us nicely formatted, just the same as everything else, and make our bold uh, titles there. To make sure that we can see, still see the titles, first name, last name, as we scroll down, we can go to View, Freeze, one row. So no matter how low we scroll, we'll always see those titles. From here, we're going to create a new column that combines these two names. So then we can copy and paste them into the Google form. This is going to be our full name column. To create a new formula, you start with equals. We want to go with equals A2. And we're going to put a space in between the first name and last time, last name. So we use an ampersand, open some uh, quotation marks, double quotes, and finish with B2. As you can see in the uh, in the tooltip here, we have the name Chucky Finster. Press enter on that, and there is his name. If we want to con uh, copy this down, we could Control C and then copy it down, or we could pull this handle. What I like to do is double click on this handle. These names we're going to copy over to the Google Form. So let's set up a new Google Form by opening a new tab and typing in forms.new. Our form will be, uh, this is something that the students might see. So let's name it something friendly, welcome back to class, something like that and to click on here to make sure that the uh, title updates and just the same as before, organize it into an appropriate folder. So organization is something you really need to get a hang of. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about, that's the wrong one, um, that's the right one. I'll talk a little bit more about organization in a different video. 
Okay, so now that we've got that, all we need to do is put in the name option. This can just be name, no one's ever going to see this but you. So we can just title it name. Head back to the Google Sheet that we just set up and copy all of the names. To uh, highlight all of them, just select the first one, hold Control Shift and press down. And that will highlight all the names. Control C to copy. Head back to the Google Form, select option one and Control V to paste. There is all of our students' names. Now that we've got this, we want to set up the Google Form so that it will pre-fill. So we click on the kebab stick, that's these three dots, go down to get pre-filled link, and it opens up a new tab. What this is doing is it's allowing us to select one of the students, so I'm just going to select Chucky, and then scroll down and click get link. This is now a link down here, we can click on this, so if we open up a new tab and we paste that link in, we'll see that the Google form op uh, opens up and Chucky's name is already selected. We're going to close that because we don't actually need it, but we do have the link copied in our clipboard. Go back to the QR attendance Google Sheet, and next to Chucky's name, we're going to paste that URL in. Title it URL. And then if we wanted to, we could just copy this down to each of the students below. We're going to make a few changes though. First, see this view form? Let's change that to form response with a capital R. After the question mark, we're just going to get rid of the USP equals PP URL and delete it. So it goes form response question mark entry. Press enter and this is Chucky's link to the pre-filled QR code. If we click on this, it won't actually take us to the form response. It'll take us to the view form. If we go up to the uh, URL bar up the top, we scroll across, we'll see that it's automatically changed to view form. That will update in a moment once we do the, do the QR stuff, but for now, we're just going to leave it and uh, accept that it will update in a moment. If you've got a lot of students, then going in here into the uh, pre-filled link, clicking on the next student and clicking get link, copying and pasting, that can get quite tedious. So instead, we're going to click on Chucky's link and where we have Chucky plus Finster, we're going to replace that with references to Chucky's name. So to start us off at the beginning of the HTTPS, we're going to type equals and then double quotation marks. This says that we're just entering text. We're going to enter text up to the equal sign and then close the double uh, brackets. An ampersand lets us concatenate, so add something to the end. We want Chucky's name. As we can see, Chucky's name is in A2, so we can type in A2. And you'll see it's highlighted. Type in ampersand. Another double quotation mark, because the next thing we have here is this plus. So that plus is going to go between quotation marks. So we're writing the URL and Chucky's first name, then a plus, and then another ampersand. Finster is in cell B2, so we can type in or click B2 and press enter. This URL, if we scroll across, we can see that it's updated to form response entry, question mark entry, and then this little code here equals Chucky plus Finster. It's exactly what we want. If we uh, double click on this handle, it will go down. And if we look at, uh, let's say Lillian's um, row, we have form response question mark entry dot this code equals Lillian Deville. It's updated all of the names for us. So we don't have to go in and click on the get pre-filled link. Much easier than the last video. So before we saw that if we click on Chucky's name, or Chucky's link, then it takes us to this pre-filled link with Chucky's name already selected. If that's the case, don't worry about it, the QR code will fix it, but if we take a look now, after it's been a little bit of time, we can just click on this name, let's go to Angelica Pickles, we can click on that, and it takes us to welcome back to the class. If we go to the form responses, we can see that one response has been entered, and it is Angelica's name. So it has updated this form, uh, this URL is correct. The last thing we have to do for the basic attendance is 
add in a new QR code. To set up the QR code, we're going to use a little bit of code. <coughs> to find it, we can just Google QR API. Open that up and we can copy and paste the code from here over to the Google Sheet. First thing you might see at the top here is this blue banner. It says this API is deprecated. Please use the actively maintained Google Charts API instead. Now, QR codes aren't actively maintained in this Google Charts API. That's the dynamic charts. Q QR codes were actually part of the static charts uh, previously in the previous version of charts. So it's not being actively updated, but it does still work and there's nothing illegal about using it. So it's okay to use. If we go down, we can see we can create a QR code on the fly with a URL get request. Now this is all to do with uh, Google App Apps script, but we can use it in Google Sheets. The syntax starts with the root URL. If we copy this, over to Google Sheets. We'll put this into cell E2. There's nothing currently in this. Start with equals. And then uh, this is in, from the image API. So we start with image, open a bracket, and we can see up here we have the URL, the mode, the height, and the width. We're going to do that in one go. So starting with, let's get rid of that. Starting with double quotes, put in the, um, the oh, sorry, paste in the URL that we just uh, received. And then we can go back to the API details to see what we need. The parameters, the required ones, those are the ones we need. So we have here chart equals QR, that's a type of chart. Copy that over to the um, URL, press an ampersand, enter an ampersand. Next up is Q, uh, CHS equals, that's our chart size paste that in. Chart size is uh, 150 by 150. Squares are quite nice. Use another ampersand for the next thing. CHL. I don't know what the L stands for. Maybe the list. I'm not sure. The chart L equals, and then we're going to close our URL there with the double quotes. The URL we're going to use is this URL in cell D2. So if we use a, an ampersand and then D2, press enter, uh, and that will create our QR code. You can see it's very small. I'm just going to center it using Control Shift E. And to make it larger, all we need to do is increase the size of this row. There it is. And to make it bigger, we can increase the size of the column get it as big as we want. We'll need to adjust this once we're ready for printing. If I take my phone, go to my QR code. Okay, Google. Google Lens. Opening Lens. If you've got an Android, that's automatic. If you've got an iPhone, you can just go to your camera app and it will open your camera for you. You can scan your QR codes from there. Scan the QR code and click the link. And it should say, welcome back to class. Give it a moment. There it is. Can we see it? Oh, it's not focusing. There it is. Welcome back to class. And if we take a look in the, um, in the responses, responses two, we have now an extra one for Chucky. To create the QR codes for the rest of the students, just like before, we highlight the uh, handle so that we get that plus button. Just get my face out of the way. There we go. Highlight the handle so we get the plus button and double click. Of course the QR codes are all tiny so we can just select all of the rows and increase their size. You do want them fairly big because there is a lot of data going on in this. You can see that there's lots of dots. That means a lot of data, a lot of information in that URL. It's not actually looking in the URL. It's just looking at the text of the URL. Okay, Google. Google Lens. Opening Lens. Have Google Lens open. Remember we're on Lil's um, QR code. If we scan that, click the link, go to the 
our other responses and we see we have one for Lil. And there it is. Welcome back to class on our phone app. So that is how we can set up a basic QR code system with your attendance. So at any time you can just scan the codes and, and that will record the students when they enter the class or uh, it will record the parents entering the class, class if you're dropping par if you have parents dropping students off. To see who was there on that day, we'll just open up the Google spreadsheet, create a new spreadsheet. That's the welcome back to class responses file. Click on create and it opens up a new sheet. There's our four students that have entered the class today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see those updates, stick around for that next video. It should be out fairly soon. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments section below. See you there.